have to sleep. Okay, so anyway, Tori and I are back reviewing the real L word because you guys have requested it, and a lot of you guys are mad because we haven't done it. But to be honest with you, the show sucks. Yeah, it, I don't. We don't even have any notes for three episodes. The notes are really sparse it's, because it's the same crap. It's just Winnie having sex with everybody. Yep. And the Sperminator couple, <laughs> and like some random characters that haven't even really caught my attention. Uh, website wannabes. And, um, oh, Romy. Baby Butches. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, I think there's something for everyone this season because they did, like, pick, like, a butch and somebody of color. Can you say, like, somebody of color? People I would get say, offended. They would say they did well with being culturally diverse. diverse. Okay. There you go. Big word. That, that will be all inclusive. But, um, anyway, we just wanted to talk to you about the characters because, and I'm going to say characters because I really don't think, like, <laughs> They're real people like this. Like they can't actually act like this, and I think that that's the difference. That we're I don't know. We just it's so unbelievably fake and edited that it's you can't you can't call these people real people anymore. I don't think they don't even go to work. <laughs> I don't see anybody going to work. Well, we saw what's her face, Saj, Saja. I, I apologize oh. for butchering all these names, by the way, in our more culturally diverse means but yeah she works at the gay lesbian center for equality California. and she hits on straight girls at the to give them gay skittles yeah skittles we've moved on from toaster ovens it's now skittles taste the rainbow okay so the first couple we're going to talk about is kelsey and romy um the scissor sisters <laughs> um i don't know i don't even know now that romy's not drinking anymore i i it's kind of boring. I feel like it's like a big sister, little sister relationship. Agreed. Like she's taking care of Kelsey and yeah, it, I don't know. I mean, I really hope Romy doesn't watch this, but I think the relationship's whack and she's too young for you, Romy. And we know how it goes. And if you ever buy me a planner, please, we're not going to do it anymore. I don't need a planner. She bought Kelsey that planner and Especially I looked at Especially only working a part-time job. I don't think I need a planner. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she gave her that planner and I was like, I don't think Kelsey knows how to write. Like, it needed to be like a picture planner. like Or like where you take the magnet of like the fruit and then you stick it like it on the day. You're it like, could be like a chore chart where like Kelsey made dinner, check it off. Foil Kelsey, star. Kelsey cleaned the bathroom, check it off. Gold star. And the, at the end of the week, she gets like a prize. She gets but to have sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, scissor. <laughs> All right, and the next couple we have is Claire and Francine. Our, um, our New York transplant Claire. Yeah, Fru works for Cherry Girl, but in the end of the last... See the ants? I have ants in my cabinet. Oh, yeah. In the end of the last episode, Claire, Claire was like, I really would like to get the real L Word girls together for a photo shoot. Like, do you not know you're on the fucking show? Like, do you not know why there's a camera crew in your house? This is why I hate the show so much. Well, I'm just really tired of Claire... The whole Vivian Francine thing. She only fights with Francine in the backyard or the patio. <laughs> and then she fights with Vivian on the phone. So if you're watching, all you're watching is a fight either transcontinental or in the backyard. I don't really get it. It's boring. They're boring to me. It's a boring couple. They're super boring. And we've seen Francine kind of naked because she did the photo shoot at the beginning. But that's about it. And we've seen her dishwasher. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's not an interesting couple to me. It just, I mean, not because... It's a diverse couple. Congratulations for Diversity Showtime. But other than that, like, I'm not feeling it at all. I'd rather watch Sada and Whitney have sex than watch this couple. And does Claire have to point out everyone who's Asian? I know. Everyone. Like, I get it, Claire. You like we, you have a preference. We all do. I think we all do. But I don't need to hear that you had an interview with an Asian guy. I... And then you only date Asian girls. And I don't know. It's just weird She's to me. a rice chaser. Is that what she, she said? That's what it was. A rice chaser. <laughs> I guess it's better than someone who's a paper chaser. True. And then we have Saja. Yeah, Sada. I don't really know how to pronounce Not that Not to be word. mistaken with Sada. There, you know. But um, she's the one who is a transplant. She just moved here. Went to the first lesbian club, the worst club she could ever go to in episode one. She went to the Palms. Horrible. Smells like dirty vagina in there. Your feet stick to the floor. And there was like five people in the club and they managed to make it look like it was happening. But um, Fantastic editing showtime. Fantastic. So, flash forward to episode three. She now has an official girlfriend after their first date. Asked her to be her girlfriend, circle yes or no on a piece of paper. That's very... 
A classy joint. Seventh grade. Oh, yeah. Classy. Tokyo, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Where's that located, Tori? The Ontario Mills Mall. Ontario Mills Mall. <laughs> what up, Ontario? We know you watch. We know you watch. Google that. She took her to a mall sushi place <laughs> that has three stars on Yelp. Wow. I'd be like, no, bitch. I'm not going to circle yes until you take me to, like, what's a good sushi place? Like, Mr. Ono's or something down on, you know, down in Hollywood. Not Ontario Mills Mall. And that's why her girlfriend lives an hour away. She lives in Ontario, which is on the way to Vegas. It's far from West Hollywood. But I don't really don't know where Saja lives. An hour away. But if you're in Ontario, you should go to Oasis, because that's right there. It's and like the 210. That place, it's the only gay club ever. That place smells there. like a swimming pool inside. And it has fake palm trees that have bubbles in them. Uh, if you're really drunk, it's fun, but, you know. It's in a strip mall, too. It's in a it strip is in a strip mall. mall. It's next to a tattoo shop, and I think there's a taco place in there. It's a new thing, strip malls for lesbians. I guess. And then we have to talk about Whitney and Seta. Well, we really don't have to, because we all know nothing's <laughs> changed. In the first episode, you see them having hot lesbian lick and bang sex. Naked time sex. Terrible. That... I the fact that Whitney's sneaking out of the house, though, to get away, to go do this with Sada, because she doesn't want to hear from Alyssa, the roommate of, you know, what'd you call her, Yoda? Yoda, Carney Wilson. Carney Wilson. But I don't, I don't know. I think there's too many dreads and too many feathers going on in that relationship. Can I tell you too many headbands. that Sada used to ride the bus around town because she didn't have a car, and now she's driving a BMW? The, the real L word has been good, has touched the lives of these women in more ways than one. <laughs> As much as they touch each other. As much as they touch each other. So anyway, <laughs> Whitney's house is like a halfway house for all these lesbians who like come into town. So now she's got Rachel Rachel living with her, who she may or may not have sex with this season. I'm going to say she does. I'm going to put my money out there. But I yeah, and Rachel is another transplant. I don't understand why they would move to L.A. It's fun here, but why live with your ex? Whatever happened to the girl that was living in her garage? Is she, she's still living in there like Anne Frank, just like hiding out. <laughs> Remember that girl that moved in? Whatever happened to Whitney's trainer? Uh, right. Remember? Remember, the, but the girl that moved from New Jersey? Remember? And she was going to, she had sex with both of them with a strap on last season? Oh, yeah. And she lived she in, only used it twice. Who was that? She's living in Whitney's garage. She's totally a prisoner in her garage right now. What was mm. her name? I don't remember. You guys know what I'm talking about. Go back about. to our videos and watch them again. She's probably <laughs> stuck in her garage. And then the last couple. Did we cover the Whitney? Look, Whitney's just having sex with everybody. Whitney's having sex. Uh, and they, they keep, what, are they, what does Whitney call it? Like they're processing each other. They're just, just having sex. That's what it is. And then the last couple, Corey and Casey, the Sperminators. Oh, sweet Jesus. Last time it was let's get married and married, yeah. married madness. And now we have sperm. And why do they always talk about sperm when there's food? I know. All the time. They bought three cups of sperm for how much? Six. Six forty each. Six forty each. Yeah. And then their friends are like eating pizza. So hopefully they don't go for ranch dressing in their in their ranch and grab them. That's an expensive cup of ranch. That's disgusting. There are ants in my kitchen. Anywho, so these girls are it's the typical butch femme couple. They're married and they want to get pregnant. And I saw in the previews that Winnie's going to make them a device to inject the sperm into the girl's vagina. I would Gross. not want anything Whitney ever made me in, in anywhere. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Spending two grand on sperm and not knowing if you can even get pregnant? I don't know. I would have done some testing first. That's yeah. what I would have done. They could totally sell them like nothing. It could be like placebo sperm. Oh, I didn't even think of that. It could be fake sperm. It could be like sugar water. Oh, God. <laughs> so, babe, I'm a little itchy down here. I don't know why. <laughs> so gross. Gross. So, anyway, if you like the real L word, okay. If you like watching <laughs> lesbian sex, this is your show. Pretty much. Scissoring. I, it doesn't happen. I cannot believe they showed that. There's a lot of stereotypes that are being blown out of proportion, I feel like, this, this season. Especially when it comes to what we do behind closed doors. Yeah. A lot. And we were talking about it. We're like, they probably were like, we'll give you $500 if you scissor. We'll <laughs> give you a grand if you use a strap on. There has been no strap on sex yet this season. Not that we've seen. They're going to take it to the extreme. They're going to use like fruit or something. It's going to be bad. <laughs> And then at the end of the episodes now, they're putting this disclaimer up that's oh, like, right. all people on the show are over 18, that's consensual sex, because it's porn. They have yeah. to, because Kelsey looks 12. She probably is, <laughs> but she consented to it. So it's just bad. This whole season, three episodes in, makes me want to 
not be the lesbian anymore. It makes me want <laughs> to not be the stereotype that they're making me out to be. It's just, I think we all can understand that Eileen Chaikin has lost all contact with the lesbian community <laughs> and is, is secretly overtaking Showtime and just giving us the worst show possible. I mean, I, it's unrelatable to me at all. The only thing that's relatable is where they hang out. Yeah. Like the clubs in West Hollywood. And that's about it. But, whatever. I can't relate to this show at all. I don't even... Oh, and um, I don't want to smell Whitney's dreads either, so that oh, I can't relate. Really... definitely cannot relate to that. This is such a bad show. <laughs> this video is hard to make because this show is just so bad. Who's like, oh my god, Whitney's so hot? Or like, who's like, man, that scissoring looks so good? If you have younger lesbians in your group, I mean, if you're a baby lesbian and you're coming out right now, please don't use this as a, as a reference. You can no. drop us a message and we'll give you a much better explanation of who and how and all that stuff. But this is just not, I don't know. I, I, I can't even. It's not There are no life. words. There are no words to describe how bad this show is. That's why this video is so rambly, because there's <laughs> nothing we can say. When there's no substance, you can't make it up, which is what Showtime's doing, though, I think. Yeah. Oh, the cutaways and all the, like, B-roll stuff. There's, like, tons of, like, dead <laughs> airspace of Claire driving her bird poopy BMW through town. Yeah, and scenes of L.A. and, like, filling it in, filling it in. It's just a whole bunch of filler. And, like, the sex scenes are 20 minutes long. It's like a mini porn. It really is. It's going to be 20 minutes long like this video. We need to cut this video off. We've told you all we can about this piece of shit show. And we'll be back. Tori's moving. <sighs> She's moving Sadly. an hour away. I don't it's know. It's not really an hour. It's like maybe 40 minutes when there's no traffic. So we'll try and keep these videos consistent. But that's a dedicated AM though, that I'm willing to A, watch the show, and B, make these videos. In my kitchen, and it's hot in here. That's not too bad. We'll get rid of the ants though. We have, time. I have ants. They're, but they're like scavenger ants. These ants don't want sweets, they want meat. They want like meat. They're on the Atkins diet. They don't want my sugar, they want like. <laughs> Whatever meat scrap. It's, I don't know. Whatever. We'll see you guys probably next week sometime when Tori can find time to come over and make video. That's true. Don't forget, follow us on Twitter. Long Beach Boy. There's an underscore in there. I don't have Twitter. She lies. <laughs> we'll see you guys lies. next week. <laughs> Bye. So sad. I'll be like, hey, lady. She'll be like, where'd you get that? Your notes are so... Um, well, and then I, I have like pages of notes. I have, I have like a like, booklet of notes. I have like a line. <clears throat> I don't even know their names. I feel like we're standing so close. <laughs> we have to be hugging to do a, re a, re a recap. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. It's called Tuna Talk. Tuna Talk. Tuna See Talk. See you later on Tuna Talk. Bye guys.